is the Tennessee senator, uh, sits on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, much, much more. Senator, always good to have you. I would imagine, Senator, not blowing you smoke, you would win your elections on you, on your record, on your positions. Uh, it might help to have a prominent Republican campaign for you on your behalf, but I think you close the deal or you don't. So I'm wondering all these party luminaries who are coming out for various Democratic candidates, um, even Republicans who are coming out for Republican candidates, as a good number of them are now for Lee Zeldin in New York, yeah. I get that. He's going to have to close that deal, and, and the candidates Democrats are pushing for are going to have to close that deal, don't you think? Uh, you're exactly right, Neil. I was just down campaigning with Herschel Walker in Georgia last week. Herschel is closing that deal, but I think he enjoyed having a fellow colleague, someone that's going to serve alongside him in the Senate, to give him that energy and to give him that support. Being there together, I think, with your colleagues is helpful. But again, it's the candidate that's got to make the sale. Herschel is definitely making the sale right now. He's connecting. In fact, you've got Warnock so concerned that he brought Obama back in, but it's not Obama on the ballot, as you say. It's these worn-out Obama-era policies, and that's what's taking the, 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 the Democrats down the, the path of, of destruction, and that's why the Republicans, you see, are surging right now. Back in August, the Democrats and the media really tried to write the epitaph of the Republican Party. But what you're seeing is a movement back in every one of these states. Again, I'll be traveling later this week to North Carolina. Again, you know, Ted Budd's going to make that sale, but I'm going to be there to help him and support him. The same thing with the Bulldog race in New Hampshire. Uh, I'll be up there later this week. Right. He's moving the dial in the right direction. So supporting them. And next week, we'll close this argument. I'll be headed out to Nevada. I'll be headed to Arizona. Again, the Masters race and the race with Adam Laxalt are close enough that I think we're going to take those states. I see the momentum. I feel it. I just want to be there to help my colleagues get there and make that sale. No, and I take nothing against either party doing that with his big guns, and you certainly qualify as that in your party, sir. But let me get your sense then what you were saying about the Senate. Um, the House looks like, and I never want to take that leap, but a, a pretty good bet for Republicans. The Senate a little yeah. less so, but how do you see things stacking up and whether you'd have to wait till a runoff election in Georgia, for example, if that's what it comes to, to decide its makeup? What do you think? Well, Neil, I feel the momentum. Uh, we're pushing the momentum. I've got a site out now called blockbidennow.com. And, and if you want to block Biden, if you want to turn our country back around, help us move this across the line. But I feel confident that if we keep leaning into this all the way into November the 8th, we'll see a result that will turn things around, we'll stop the craziness, and we'll see a Republican majority both in the United States House and in the United States Senate. Do you worry that, you know, Republicans are going to be under the same pressure as other parties in power, if you become the party in power, let's say in Congress, in the House and mm -hmm. the Senate, because it's been indiscriminate, this protest, uh, it was against a, a liberal or, a, you know, or a conservative who was revolted against by fellow conservatives in Britain, and a progressive president uh, or moderate president turned on by an even more progressive former liberal candidate. So that they, they take it out on whatever party's in power. I'm talking about Brazil, the latest case. Yes, yes. No, I, I think that's, uh, that, that, that's wholly likely, and, and I think that it's actually appropriate in many cases. You look at what's happened with this party in power. In just 20 months, Joe Biden has turned our border into a national disaster. The energy, to, energy policies that we've undertaken have made us weaker as a nation. They set our economy into massive inflation, then pouring on top of that massive amounts of stimulus that still hasn't worked its way through the system. This inflation that we're experiencing is squarely the fault of the party that's had control right. of both the House, the Senate, and the White House. So I think it's it's right to hold them accountable. We're going to have to turn this around, though. Republicans are going to have to lead and give the American public the reason to vote for us in 2024. All right. We'll see what happens. Uh, Senator Haggerty, great seeing you again. Thank you, Neil.